Hey guys, what's up? James Adams here. So about a couple years ago, I had an Apple Watch Series 3, and then one day, it shattered on the floor of a locker room. After that incident, I got one of the Garmin 4Runner watches and used it for about a year before I left it on the block at a swim meet one day and couldn't get it back. So after about three years of smartwatch use with the Apple Watch and the Garmin watch, I ordered this watch, and I've been using it for about a month now. So I'm going to talk about my experience switching to a watch that only tells time after three years of smartwatch use. I want to clarify that this is not a review about this watch specifically, but more a general video about the concept of having a watch that only tells time. Let's get into it. So, when I first lost my Garmin watch, I could no longer ping my phone anymore. You know how on most smartwatches you can play a sound from your phone when it's lost? Well, that ability was taken from me. Before I had got my first smartwatch, the Apple Watch, I had never had a problem with losing my phone. But little did I know it, but during the time when I had the Apple Watch and the Garmin watch, I was slowly becoming more and more dependent on them to find my phone. During my smartwatch years, I got into the habit of leaving my phone in random places and just using my Apple Watch or Garmin watch whenever I needed to locate it. But once I had lost my second smartwatch, the Garmin watch, I no longer had any tech on my wrist. But even though I didn't have any of that, I was still leaving my phone in random places without making a mental note of where it was. But since I didn't have a smartwatch anymore, I couldn't ping it. For the first few weeks after stopping wearing a smartwatch, I kept losing my phone and taking 5 minutes to find it each time. In fact, I still have this problem, but it's been starting to go away now that I've been using a watch that only tells time for a month. So, you could say that switching to a dumb watch has improved my memory, and wearing a smart watch might actually be making you dumber. Also, when I switched to a dumb watch, where all I could do was check the time and set timers, I noticed that my concentration skyrocketed. You see, back during my smartwatch years, I was always getting these little notifications on my wrist. Did you know that, scientifically, it takes 23 minutes to regain your concentration after a distraction? I would be flooded with all these little notifications, constantly resetting my 23 minute timer to regain my focus. Even if you have your watch on do not disturb or silent, it makes it so much easier to check your notifications while you're trying to do something. Even at night, when you're in bed trying to fall asleep, seeing that one little text message, even if it didn't ping you, is going to keep you awake. That brings us to our next thing, nighttime. So you probably already know this, but in case you don't, every kind of screen that you can think of emits blue light, which is what keeps you awake. If you ever wake up in the middle of the night and wonder what time it is and check your smartwatch, all that blue light is going to hit your eyes and keep you awake for longer. But instead, if you check your watch that only tells time, you're going to go right back to sleep. My watch does have a screen, but it's this old LCD kind of screen with a backlight behind it. Super bad backlight by the way, but it has no blue light. Also, I never have to worry about charging my watch anymore. As far as I know, this Casio watch that I've been using has basically unlimited battery life, and if you ever get a real analog watch, all you have to do is wind it every now and then. Back when I had my Apple Watch, it would always be dead by the end of the day, and I couldn't even see the time anymore, which is the main reason that watches were even invented in the first place. My Garmin was better, it had two weeks of battery life, but I still didn't have that peace of mind of having a watch that I know that I will never need to charge. Also, when you have a watch that only tells time, you don't feel obligated to be connected all the time. Sometimes it's nice to get away from all that stuff for a little while, and having an Apple Watch strips you of that ability. So I know this was a little of a less structured video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I've mostly been a tech YouTuber lately, and I still want to keep being a tech YouTuber, but in a little bit of a different way. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to start making some more videos about getting away from tech, like maybe how deleting Google Maps makes you remember directions better, something like that, I don't know. Either way, make sure you stay subscribed for when those videos drop. That's all for today. See you in the next one. Peace.